the formidable robot. The Michael Multiverse Channel. You probably haven't heard of that name before, and I don't blame you. It's a YouTube channel run by Michael, who makes mostly creepy post narration related content. He uses a Gmod model of SpongeBob to represent himself in the videos, and every now and then does skits for the worst stories he reads, and hasn't actually uploaded many videos, only having 34 subscribers as of typing this. He's a cool guy and his videos are enjoyable, which is why I'm one of the subscribers. What I came here to talk about was a video he uploaded one time, before shortly after being deleted. It was a narration video, like most of the videos he uploads. However, the title for this one was interesting, to say the least. The Creepypasta Reading Series 6, Lost THX Text Trailer, The Band Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Trailer, by Lightning Buck Wonder Pets. It seemed as though Michael was taking a look at one of those shitty spin pasta THX trailer stories. The video began with the expected intro, before fading into what seemed to be some kind of Gmob skit. It depicted Michael Spongeboy on his computer. He notices something on it, to which he remarks what the hell under his breath. It cuts to a screenshot of the page for the story. Cut back to Michael, who promptly face palms after seeing it. The narration commences. He started by saying the story's title and stating its writer, before he began to narrate the story. This is what I recall from the narration. Hello. I'm sure you're all familiar with THX text box set trailers. Well I found a lost one that was banned when I was walking on the street. Michael sighs. He says, of course you did, before continuing with the reading. It was a VHS and it said, THX Band Trailer, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Do Not Watch, in crude writing in marker. I was confused and I picked it up, and I put it in my VHS player inside my house. I put the VHS inside the player and it got going. The selection screen appeared with Mickey and Toodles and there was THX logo and text. Okay, I don't think that VHS tapes can have a menu thingy, I think that's just DVDs. Moving on. He continued narrating. Then I pressed play and a THX trailer with text would play, and then Mickey and the gang would show up. Mickey said, Oh boy, a new adventure. And Goofy laughed. Text appeared. I think they were trying to say Tex. And he said, Get ready to die bitches. Mickey was scared and Donald Duck got angry, but Tex had a chainsaw and he threw it at Donald Duck. Michael began to laugh at the absurdity he was reading, which I can't really blame him for. And then, Goofy started screaming and he ran away. Tex chased after him and he ripped his head off. Tex said, Two gone, now only five to go. And he did an evil laugh. Mickey was scared and he was scared. Don't know why you said it twice. And he asked the viewers what they should do to help. Toodles gave him a metal bat and Mickey ran at Tex, but Tex exploded him with lasers. The story was what you would expect from one of these spin pasta THX Tex stories. Tex murders all the characters in super scare we gruesome ways. Toodles was punched so hard he shattered, Minnie was stabbed to death, Pluto was beaten to death, and Pete got gutted with a fucking katana. Things to note are that Spongebob appears and gets killed, Susie from Deltarune pops up and helps Tex murder Minnie and Pete before just leaving, and Lenny from the Wonder Pets Sue McDonald's shows up and has an epic battle with Tex, full of explosions and drama, before Tex shoots Lenny with lasers which, I shit you not, turns him into chicken nuggets. A specific quote I remembered was spoken was, you will pay for hurting animals, from Lenny, to which Tex responded with, try me bitch. More dumb crossover nonsense. After Tex defeats Linny, the story takes a turn for the worse. The story describes that a scared child appeared. It was a little girl, and Tex called her by her full name when addressing her. That name, if I recall, was Charlotte Reese. She got scared and asked how he knew her name and where she was. She specifically states that she was playing outside and got lost when a man offered her candy from afar. Michael expresses confusion in his voice when the child's name is brought up, the confusion only growing throughout the next part of the story. 
Tex ends up murdering her, specifically via slitting her throat, gouging a single eye out and knocking some of her teeth out. He breaks her legs, and is said to maniacally cackle. He turns to the camera and says, I'm coming for you Lucas Reese. Who the hell, hang on, I gotta look this up. Michael's audio was suddenly cut off, before coming back again. He let out a long guttural, oh no, once he came back. He then began to speak. Okay, so I just looked up the names of those kids and, as it turns out, they're based on real kids. I looked it up, Charlotte is a real girl who was actually found dead. That's fucking gross, why the hell would you put that in? I don't even, she was found dead in a dumpster and the killer hasn't been found. That's not okay, you don't, what the fuck man? Lucas is still alive, but he's the brother of Charlotte. So not only does this story use the death of a real child for shock value, but threatens another currently alive one. Jesus Christ! The rest of the story was just the conclusion you'd expect. The person being traumatized forever because Tex appeared and killed the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse gang, losing sleep, and warning the reader to never watch the band THX Tex Mickey Mouse Clubhouse trailer. Michael has trouble reading the rest of the story because of the use of real dead children in the story. Then we get to the review. The first thing we see is Michael, the SpongeBob 3D model, at the table in dim lighting as usual, except the model is expressing shock. The facial expression is wide-eyed with the mouth wide open, staring in disbelief. Probably modeled after the shocked Patrick SpongeBob meme. This went on for 5 seconds, before we got to the actual review. The face goes back to normal. Okay, that was Lost THX trailer, the band Mickey Mouse Clubhouse trailer, by Lightning Buck Wonder Pets. Review time. The model is changed to have a constant disturbed expression. Not as exaggerated as the face from earlier, but still one of disgust and disturbance. I want to vomit. Oh my god, that is horrible. Lightning Buck Wonder Pets, if you're watching this, please never do this shit again. Please seek professional help. I mean that, something is fucking wrong with you. You don't, you don't reference real murdered children in your creepypasta. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I am genuinely at a loss for words. I. Okay, please, do not harass any of the people mentioned in this. I can't believe I have to say that, but please don't. And to the writer of this pasta, please seek help. The video ended abruptly on that note. I was taken aback by how horrible it was. My first thought was to go to Spin Pasta and search for the name of the pasta, but I couldn't find anything. Michael removed the link from the description, so there's no proof of the story's existence anymore. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure Lightning Buck Wonder Pets account was deleted shortly after the narration was published. I'm not entirely sure how I am supposed to end this post, other than saying my stance on this, but my stance should be pretty obvious by now. All I can say right now is. Not every idea is a good idea.